Praise God. Beloved, even when the enemies of David thought they have gotten him, beloved, David will always come out stronger. Beloved, it is dangerous when God stops being with a man, like the case of Solomon. Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 1, the scripture says, And Solomon, the son of David, was strengthened in his kingdom, and the Lord his God was with him, and magnified him exceedingly. Solomon was magnified by the Lord. He became the greatest king to ever live. But when he stopped honoring God and departed from him, the kingdom failed. Beloved, Solomon failed because he left God. He left honoring God, worshipping another God. And the Lord left him. Praise God. Beloved, the Lord also left Saul when Saul when Saul went after another God and was disobedient, God left Saul. Hallelujah. The entire household of Saul started dying because Saul departed. Hear me. The wisdom is this. Never you depart from God. God has lifted you. You went and a minister of the Lord prayed for you and things began to work for you. Go back there and give thanks. Remember your beauty, your handsomeness, your strength, you are wisdom cannot help you. It is only God that can help you. Always return thanks to God. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Number two, if you must enter into greater height, you must behave yourself wisely. No wonder our Lord and Savior Jesus said, the children of this world in their generation are wiser than the children of light or the children of the kingdom. Beloved, the scripture is talking about wisdom of God. Be wise in God. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 14, the scripture says, And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Praise God. When you behave yourself wisely, trust only in God, and know that promotion doesn't come from any man but from God. When you continue to obey God and continue to worship him, he will continue to take you from glory to glory, from grace to grace. You will rise and not fall. In Jesus' mighty name. Dearly beloved, I prophesy there is a fresh oil coming upon you that is carrying you to greater height. A higher height than the one you can imagine. A height that you never can imagine. You are entering there. You have sat in this state of barrenness, unfruitfulness for too long. The yoke of barrenness and unfruitfulness is destroyed today. In Jesus' mighty name. Because God is carrying you, taking you, into greater height. Hallelujah. I see you get married. I see you fruitful in your marriage. I see your marriage sweet right now. Hallelujah. I see your business, you started small, becoming great. Hallelujah. I see that ministry you started with nothing. I see God causing that ministry to flourish. I see you were sick. God is healing you. You are entering into greater height physically, spiritually, financially. You are taking money from money. You no longer beg to eat. Hallelujah. You are healed and you are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. Dearly beloved, I'm stopping here today till I come your way again. But hear me. It is access to the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ that can help you to access greater height. So if you are not born again, then I don't see how possible you'll be able to assess greater height. So say after me today, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. My name is Matthew Asiyan, the leader and commander of Apostolic Army International Gospel Church, Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. Beloved, support Apostolic Army Pray for Apostolic Army and above all, worship in Apostolic Army every Sunday and you will not regret it. Hear me, worship with us this Sunday and you will access the Father and you will access greater height in Jesus' mighty name. So be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen.